Good afternoon everyone and I wanted to say welcome back to today's Bible verse man very excited for today's video gonna go ahead and jump right into it guys we're gonna be reading from the book of Romans and the verse just like you can see here on the side is as follows it says likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord okay that's that's the verse guys that's it's, i know that it can be difficult to understand um with the old with the old english and stuff like that and i mean the bible is already there's enough parables and enough stories to follow as it is without trying to translate the old english but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into the verse and discover exactly how that should be translated and what they're trying to say right now okay guys so the the inspiration itself excuse me i'm on the wrong uh scene there you go so the inspiration itself says through Jesus Christ alone, we are made alive unto God. OK, so the minute that you establish that relationship with God, the minute that God comes into your heart and your soul, guys, you know it. Right. There's a difference between religion and the difference between a relationship. Should your religion be a part of that relationship with God? Absolutely. The prayer, the fellowship in church, the giving your diasmo, your 10 percent. Um, participating in whatever ministries you think or any way that you can help the church or the house of God or God in any way um, evangelizing that's absolutely 100% true alive unto God means your relationship in your heart has to be truly given to God guys there is no empty words don't work with God see what I'm saying so saying it for the world to hear it and saying it for God to believe it that's two completely different things guys if we are dead to sin then it will lose its power over us if we are alive to God we will respond in love and obedience to his word and his spirit, which means that, guys, the minute that you truly accept the Father God, the way that you were living before, those sins that were weighing you down, those things that it, it's just your whole life, the way that you were living, that emptiness, that void, th those things that you were trying to fill those voids with, all that stuff goes away because you're already filled. There's times where I read the Bible where I get a knot in my throat because I see last night I read uh, the last three chapters of the book of Matthew to my um, to my daughters and my and my wife and I were reading it to them and we we're you know explaining it to them and I, I I barely made it through it you know what I mean um and not because not not because of the fact that Jesus died he knew that was gonna happen it's just thinking about the way that they treated him he knew it was gonna happen but it doesn't mean that my heart breaks any less thinking about them beating him in the face with sticks and spitting on him and whipping him and flogging him and making fun of him and and all the while he was doing what he was praying for us guys I mean there's no purer love than that you know what I mean so it's, it says clearly if we are dead to sin which means that doesn't mean that you become perfect this doesn't mean that you turn away and oh my gosh I'm a saint no 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 when you're dead to sin, that means that when you know you're doing wrong, you actively turn away from it and you actively make sure that you try your best not to do those things. And even to the point where you stop doing those things, um, we're never perfect, guys. We're never going to stop getting angry with one another. You know, we're never going to stop um, being mean at some points. We're never going to we're either we're going to let the occasional swear word slip out. God knows these things. This is why he died for our sins. But there's a difference between that and living in perpetual sin. And just acting as though we can get into heaven on our own merits that's impossible no human being has the ability to do that only one human being had the ability to do it for us and he did it for us over 2000 years ago guys so that's just a little bit of food for thought I'm gonna go ahead and move into the prayer all right guys if you want to pray with me please pray with me if not i will pray for you i will pray for your family i will pray for your friends i will pray for your health i will pray for your safety and i will pray for your salvation and when i say pray for your salvation i'm not saying that i have the power to pray for your salvation as though you don't already have it i say pray for your salvation is so that you can procure a relationship with christ so that you can secure that salvation god died for all of us to be saved guys but if you don't take advantage of it you're not going to get that if God does not know you and you approach him after you close your eyes for the last time, he is, he is going to clearly tell you, away from me, I do not know you, and you will be cast into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That is an old parable, an old verse, an old saying for the word hell, guys. Just <laughs> that, 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 I mean, that to me, that the, even that word just freezes my soul, I, you know, and I, and I hope it does yours too. Here's the prayer, guys. Help us to live this day as dead indeed to sin and alive indeed to you O lord you are the source of our life and the focus of our life all of the spiritual exercises that you animate in us are directed back to you as the object of our affection and praise with renewed minds and wills let us serve you out of pure heart faithfully amen um amazing prayer guys 
it's so true we have to serve in any way that we can guys a lot of people say i'm too busy whatever no you're not too busy you if you have time to do the things that you want to do if you have time i mean god doesn't ask for your entire life god only asks that you contribute to the kingdom of heaven to him when you can if you can you know and do it and if you're gonna do it don't do it out of a sense of obligation do it with the love in your heart that you have for our lord and savior jesus christ guys ever since i came to christ let me tell you i always feel him touching me i always feel the goosebumps i feel the electricity i feel him touching my back i know that he's here with me i have faith because i know he's here a lot of people confuse well i can't see him it doesn't matter what you can see Human beings are so arrogant that we are just too oblivious to our own limitations. We don't know. We've only seen a fraction of one of trillions of God's creations and we act as though we can think on God's level. It's not going to happen, guys. It's not going to happen except that God knows best for you and nothing's ever going to change that. There is no way to God the Father except through God the Son. And I want you guys to please remember that. Repeat it to yourself. Get on your hands and knees. Pray. Beg God for forgiveness, truly repent from your heart, develop a relationship with him and see what I'm talking about, guys. There's nothing more in life than I can recommend besides that. It is the best thing I ever did for my life. It's the best thing I ever did for my children. It's the best thing I ever did for my marriage. And I feel like such a different person. And to anyone who I'm ever offended in the way that I was before, in my arrogance and my attitude and my temper, I am wholeheartedly sorry. I, I, I apologize to anyone that I've trans that, that I've trespassed against and I pray that you guys can forgive me as well. I have no I, I, I have no ill will towards anyone. I have no ill will. I, I don't care. I look at things in such a different light now that there's nothing in my life that I think about that angers me that, that that I dwell on because I just have too much love in my heart and there are things that bother me, but it's the sin that bothers me. And I'm a sinner, everybody's a sinner. It's a sin that bothers me, not the sinner. I hate sin, not the sinner. Um, and that's something that coming to Christ has taught me very well, guys. So, like I said, man, those are just lessons that I learned in my own reading the scripture, preaching to my children. My mother-in-law is really good with the word. My father-in-law is really good with the word. Pray for your family, man. And when you think with love first and you're, and you're more hesitant to be judgmental and hateful and, and, and combative, you'll see how much different life is, man. It's just, it, it really is so much better. Having said that, that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you guys so very much from the very bottom of my heart. Please excuse the phone. I forgot I had it on loud, of course. That would happen during my recording um forgive me god <laughs> i'm not trying to be disrespectful but um i i got the word out I, i'm trying to get the word out to you guys and i and i want to continue to do so man this is that this to me honestly more than the gaming streams is the most important part of my channel so thank you guys for being with me and as i always tell you man be safe be good be blessed and i'll see you when i see you god bless each and every one of you